Peter Jabman, CEO of INQ, congratulations to, to di today's deal. I think with this collaboration between Quantum Basel and INQ, you will build the path between application spaces and you as a builder of quantum computers. I think your work has left the research lab and is now in the engineering phase. Um, what synergies will you um, look, look forward to with this signing today and what are the future plans together with Quantum Basel? Well, what we found with um, Quantum Basel is they had the same vision as we do, especially in the application space. Um, so we look forward to working with the team here in producing the next generation of applications in quantum. What is the future? We have seen a little gold um, box that you brought here. How is this technology working? So this, uh, what we brought today was a little quantum processor and it's the next generation QPU for one of our systems. And it is, has a, uh, what we expect is an algorithmic qubits of, of 64. We should be able to rival the world's largest supercomputers uh, for certain applications. That's absolutely impressive. I think your work, your systems are largely optical systems, individual laser beams control qubits yep. next to the whole optical research area that is just great here. What do you think will be the biggest promises in your work here in Alasem, Switzerland, but also for the EMEA area? Um, well, very much our system is an optical quantum computer. Uh, we don't use optical qubits, but the rest of the system is fully optical. And clearly this part of the world is a leader in high precision uh, optical systems. Um, and today we use uh, components from all over the world. About 80% of our system is actually made outside the US. So, and a large part of that is from this part of the world. So as we look to move to a manufacturing of quantum computing, so kind of getting out of the R&D systems and now into um, kind of a, a production uh, point of view, this is particularly important for us. Which challenges that INQ is facing will be solved with today's signing of this deal? Ooh, good question. Um, well, I think quantum machine learning is certainly going to be one of the first set of applications that will come out um, from the AQ35 system. Um, at the AQ64, one can start to see many applications where you could get to quantum advantage or quantum supremacy. So um, one would hope that things like uh, pharma, which is also big in this area, in this part of the world, um, maybe not in a chemistry sense, but in a machine learning sense, to be able to um, produce better drug candidates is will be an exciting thing for the AQ64. Peter Jabman, I congratulate you to today's seal, and I would say the future starts today. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're excited to be here.